I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. Isn't it? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Brewster Show. Today we're continuing some Detroit Become Human. John's Coffee. I like coffee. Too bad I don't have any next to me, though. I could go for a cup right about now. But it's 6.30, and I shouldn't. Because if I drink coffee, then I'm going to be up all night. And if I'm up all night, all right. then at work I'll be line. miserable. End of the line. Yeah, you're going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave? Why? Uh... All right, Kara. I mean, what's your name again? We have to go. <laughs> Alice, that's right. I just saw it and I... Okay, I can tell you how today's episode is going to go. Leave the bus. Uh... Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? No idea. She's gonna have to leave. What? You don't know? Don't you live around here? You're a bus driver. Don't you know these things? Wait, do you even drive a bus? Well, I don't even think nobody drives a bus. I think it drives automatically. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. All right, all right. So, there's... Can't stay at a washer and dryer place. We'll need money to stay there, but it's not discreet. It's comfortable. An easy way of getting caught. Uncomfortable, but safe. How to get in? Uh, I don't think that would be safe, really. A very uncomfortable but discreet location. Let me guess. We have to sleep in an abandoned car or something, or on the floor. I'm good on that. Uh, let's, I just looked at that. Can't sleep here. Can ask for help, though. Hmm. I'm really thinking about this place. All right. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Who is that? 
And how did he get away so quick? Come on, Alice. Was he got camouflage or something? Thank you for using Detroit Texas. Okay, so I'm sure the convenience store has money. Okay, I'm sure I could steal out of there. But do I want to be a thief is the question. Guys, there's just so many choices. And I don't want to make the wrong choice. Alice isn't going to like me if we stay in the car. She's not going to be happy about that. She'll be really happy if we stay at the motel, but she's not going to be happy about me stealing. At least I don't think so. We stayed in the abandoned house. Jesus, man. I don't even know. You know what? Let's go ask them for help. Let's see if we can get help. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. There we go. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. A steal from cash register. Shoplift, fly, find a plan. to be away from the register so he couldn't see me take toy for Alice geez that's so big how are you gonna hide that how would you even hide this she doesn't have a bag to put it in. What is she going to do with it? I'm going to put it back. I would steal it for Alice, but it's too big. Uh, God, I don't... Dude, I don't want to make any mistakes, man. I really don't. You know what? Is there a there's a is there a camera? Where's the cameras? I see smoke alarms. I don't see cameras. Uh any camera there's a camera literally right there, bro. Okay. So I, I can't I'm not gonna steal that. He's literally watching the cameras. He's watching the cameras, so he, he, he won't be able to, or I won't be able to steal that. Use Alice, try something else. Fuck it. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me.
You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Fuck. You should have spared some cash, stupid. I wouldn't have had to steal from you. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Now I'm we're sorry, back. Alice, we're good I'm now. Do it again. Do we have enough money to stay at the hotel? Or the motel? Motel Grotel? That doesn't make any sense. I'm a guy. Um, let's go to the motel. No androids allowed. Wait, that's forty dollars? How much money do I have? How much money did I steal? Does it even tell me how much money I stole? Steal discreetly. Um Let's see. No androids allowed. Though. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. They'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. I'll go somewhere else. Fine clothes. I guess we can find clothes at the laundromat. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. <clears throat> Change of clothes. Can't keep stealing things. She's not gonna be happy with me for that. All right, you know what? We're gonna go to the abandoned house. Come on, Alice. Let's go, Alice. Come on, let's go. Okay, abandoned house it is. It seems like the best option. The only problem is, I didn't bring a gun with me. I didn't steal the gun from Todd. So I don't have anything to defend myself with or defend Alice with. So I'll really have to play my cards. Yes. 
The wire cutters are there. I can't pick them up yet because I have to come over here to the 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 gate. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. It's just for one night, Alice. And then we get... We actually get a place to sleep and you'll be warm and not in the rain in an abandoned dirty car. Are you alright? Cut myself. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Right, well that's gonna give away my position. Don't worry, we're just having a look. that somebody is in here Alice Alice uh what the hell wait what are you doing visitors Ralph doesn't like visitors they're nasty they may hurt Ralph I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Thank you, Ralph. Okay. We'll just stay the night. Come on! Come! Come, come on! This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> what an interesting fellow. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Okay. It's just you, why, night, why is he talking about himself we'll in the third person? Tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Make a bed, start the fire. I am going to go ahead and start the fire first. You know, got to get it warm. Got to get it toasty in here. Let's 
Okay, not that one. This stuff here. Find the paper. Now I gotta collect the wood. Or oh, maybe I put the paper in there first. Okay, now collect the wood. It's right here, is it not? Um, okay. Can't do that until last. What was all that? What the hell? So I need oh oh okay I mean I was looking at two pieces of wood right here I thought those were it but I guess I guess not You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. No, he was so angry because he hated himself. I just wanted us to be a family. It was the drugs. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? The drugs. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever! Forever. Well, I'll be around forever, but you won't. <clears throat> That's if, you know, car is taken care of, well maintained. So cute. I'm gonna lie with her. She needs the comfort. I'm trusted again. Stayed in the squat. What's happening here? Reboot. What do you? Wait a minute.
Okay, Marcus ain't dead. Audio processor, corrupted data. Uh, I'm trying to look at the eyeball. Thank you. Missing. Of course it is. What is this? A Triumph pump regulator. Okay. And you're missing some legs. You need new legs. Oh, the sound design, bro. Compatible. Incompatible. Get out of my way. Dude, this is like a horror game for robots. Dude, that is terrifying. <laughs> I mean, even if you're a human, imagine waking up into a, like a junkyard, like with just robots that are like half dead, walking around slow. Like, dude, that would be creepy. I'm sorry, I, I I need you, I need it. I need it.
Sorry. What do we got here? A compatible eyeball. Well, thank you very much, sir. I need that. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm an AK-700. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyber life maintenance center. Ah, uh, everything is functioning normally, except for my hearing aids, but we'll get that soon. I believe it's over here. Yes. Excuse me, I need that. Give me. Thank you. All right, Marcus, put it in. Ah, much better. That just looks like a normal human now. Tight. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're back with Connor now. Find Amanda. Hello. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's 
It's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting. But I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. Ah, that's as long as he doesn't boost interfere okay. and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. All right, the police department. Hank is neutral. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. I can't explore, okay. <laughs> no exploring. Hey, there's Todd. Hey. You take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Todd, are you got off the drugs yet? Nice. Probably not. We really need the forensics. Excuse me. I'll just Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. You and you, come with me. Hi, honey. Listens to metal. Sounds like my kind of dude. Yeah, I'm a big metal fan. Task Force. 
Nearly a ton of red eyes discovered. Okay. Dog hairs. A Saint Bernard. This man really loves his donuts. Got one left and then a whole new box underneath it. Unless the one underneath it's empty. Cold coffee. I don't really care about that. What else? What else we got here that I didn't look at? A hat. A Detroit basketball cap. All right. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Pink! In my office! Listen in. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you <laughs> do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. All right. Well, Hank's gonna be mad now. <laughs> I think talking to him would not be best. Shit. Look at that. Great. A fucking ghost. His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? Answer? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Oh man, these guys are pricks. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of my way. <laughs> I 
Don't you want your coffee? Hey, you asked for it, dipshit. Several sources report that some okay, then. What? What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking android. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think it's so funny when people get mad. Hey. Take a look at these samples yet? Alright, Hank, you still pouting? New cut. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. You really need the forensics. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Okay. Thanks, Hank. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? How <laughs> you get bad over that? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Although he liked it that I asked him that question. Music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. If you keep asking questions, by the way, he'll start getting irritated with you. Suspect missing. Suspect missing. The planet claims he was violently attacked by his android. Bullshit. You tried to grab me. The android just returned from being repaired the previous day. She is not aggressive, bruh. A sex android. I love how that's what I got out of that. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returning to club. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. It's like fuck. Two hundred and forty three reported to have assaulted Son a of a bitch. Week. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. <laughs> he really hates his life right now. Don't be a sore loser. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> okay, so he's unprofessional. Got it. I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. Hmm. 
Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Hank got a lead. So Hank is always mad. He's just mad all the time. Alright, so now I'm really gonna have to play this smart so we can get us out of here. And up. She's fine. I don't need to check on her. Revive the fire. Yeah, revive the fire. Like that. Put that in there. All right. What do we got in here? What's anything in here? We got some money. Can I take some more money? I'm going to take the bird. Watch. This is broken. And the money. Thanks for the money. Are you gonna get mad that I stole from you? Are you even gonna notice? He may not even notice. Well, let's hope he doesn't notice. I'm gonna put the clothes on. What about Alice? Doesn't she need a new appearance as well?
most white hair look like. Black hair. Um, I think we'll do blonde. We got a blonde. Remove that. Get that off my head. Yeah. Alright, that should be unrecognizable. Oh. Shit. Okay. That's all for now. Ready to go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Uh. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. It's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. And sit down. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ralph. Fuck! I didn't but mean to press that. To go. go? <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> okay. That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Bro, how am I going to get out of this? Mother, I don't have a gun. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Why? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Bluff. We're going to stand up now. And we're going to leave, Ralph. No. Then you're not going to leave. Not until Ralph says so. You said you wanted to be like a family, Ralph. Father, mother, the little girl, remember? The father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat.
There you go. Put the knife down. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No, not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? Uh oh. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Uh oh. <clears throat> Ralph, you better not blab. On the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. I'm looking for an AX 400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, reported missing. Wonder if he ran off. What other clues do we have about him? Oh, okay. Uh, self destruction moderate. Burn marks. Okay. You chasing them, man. Too many donuts. Don't shoot, we need it alive. Oh crap, dude. I gotta. Uh, I gotta play frickin' Frogger. Insane. This thing will be good, bro. Oh my god. Bro. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. That's an order. Oh, come on, Brett. You can do this. Woo! Come 
Come on! God, this sucks, dude. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Ah, my heart. Are you okay? Kara and Alice reached the other side. That's great. Continue. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. We are now approaching Ferndale Station. Please take care of stepping onto the platform. Okay, looking for s squares out of my mural. Is that graffiti? They missed. Yeah, yeah. Spare some change. I'm good. How about you? Oh, here it is. In this graffiti. Okay. Jeez, how many of these are out to find? She did. Yeah. I know. It's crazy, right? Yeah, man. So crazy. Sorry, excuse me. Well, he's not used to that. <laughs> Usually everybody's a dick. I can see them being another case. Number 244. Stars. Yeah, here it is. Robot man.
Find a way to reach the roof. I can move this, right? Oh yeah, that's very The Last of Us. Moving trash cans so you can climb up the... The ledge. I see you try to be clever. I like that. I'm gonna use that. Ah, so cool. Well, there it is. One. Two. you at uh, there you are Trey all right now I gotta get up there So badass. I see. Can this get out of my way? Okay. This way. Jericho. 
All right, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did. Um, this game is freaking awesome. You know, it's, uh, it's just, it, it's cool to me how, um, the things that you do reflect what happens at the end of the chapter so that anyone could have a different outcome. So I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. You know, be a part of the family. It helped me out. It helped you out. We all win, right? So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.